Yo, shout out to Dante Jenkins, man. A loyal, a loyal subscriber, man. I salute you, Conrad, for real, yo. Rest in peace to Zach Stoner, man. A YouTuber from Chicago who was killed on the 30th of May 2018, you know what I mean? Rest in peace to Tyrone Fleming, man. Another YouTuber slash electrical worker in New York City who was fined, stabbed to death multiple times in his Bronx apartment. Rest in peace to that brother, you know what I'm saying? I go by the name of No Face the Rambler, man. We're going to get into this content. And this is education, awareness, and meditation purposes only, you know what I'm saying? These are my sentimental thoughts, man. And these are my views to respectfully, respectfully honor these brothers, man. To respectfully honor these brothers and they passing, you know what I'm saying? But first and foremost, man. First and foremost, man. You know, I go by the name of No Face the Rambler, man. And, um, you know, my content is raw and uncut, man. And I'm giving it up for the real, man. You know what I mean? I, I never lack in that, man. But at the end of the day, we got to have a moment of clarity. You know what I'm saying? We got to have a moment of clarity, man. We got to step back and take a look at what's really going on. You know, with these brothers passing, man, and particularly with Zach, which was a great impact on the YouTube world, and as far as the streets go in Chicago and nationwide, man, it's very unfortunate. Unfortunate about this brother's death, man. But at the same time, at the same time, man, there's various individuals from Chicago, there's another YouTubers, man, just popping up, you know, giving their opinions and views and thoughts and their speculations on why they think that this brother was murdered. You know, some said that, uh, you know, it was linked to the Kanika Johnson case. In fact, there's a, a Chicago brother on YouTube that was, um, you know, talking about dude had sex relations with her ever since she was 12 years old type shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not from Chicago. I don't live in Chicago. So that's nothing I can speak on. You know what I mean? That's not my truth. That's theirs. But one thing I can say, man. One can I think I can say, man. You know, I know this brother, Zach, man, was between the ages of 28 to 30 when he was murdered. And I'm going to say 30 because that's what the sources, the sources that I'm reading upon say it was. You know what I'm saying? Say he was 30 years old. And my thoughts, my thoughts and views in this, man, black man, black woman, brown man, brown woman, we know the environment that we come from. We know the environment that we're surrounded by. You know, at the age of 24, man, if you're not incarcerated, if you're not on parole, you really have nothing holding you back, but you searching for some type of direction in life and trying to point out the right direction in which way your life wants to go, there has to be a shift in consciousness, man. There has to be a shift in thought or where you want to head for the future. You know, I was once told, man, a man chooses his death by the lifestyle that he chooses to live. You know what I'm saying? And I say that to say this, man. You know, if you're over the age of 24 and you out here, man, getting involved in these little street beefs, man, you still run around here living like you, you a teenager or some shit. Are you fresh out of high school? You running around, man, just just doing some off the wild shit. I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real, man. You know I ain't, I ain't disrespecting this dude, Zach. Man, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck are you at in life when you're over the age of 24 and you in an environment like that, in which? Mentally, you didn't change directions. Mentally, you didn't change notes. And when I say notes, man, mentally, you didn't come up with a blueprint of where you want to see the direction of your life is headed. Where are you at when you're at the age of 30 and you beef with individuals who are on some shit? You know what I'm saying? Who are still involved that whole 
that whole ethic, that whole culture, that whole wave of dysfunction and behavior. Where are you at? You know, to, to my listeners, man, especially to my young audience, man, anybody that's under the age of 24, or, you know, you're embarking on the age of 25, man, and you still out here talking about, oh, you know, I'm with the shits. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a YOG. Or, you know what I mean? And if the concrete is still mine, I'm still out here. Like, wake the fuck up, man. Especially if you're not incarcerated. Especially if you're not on parole. The only problem you have is you got two kids and a nagging baby mother or you with your baby mother. And you got to figure out how they got to eat. Did you really need to just sit down and draw out a plan and see what it is that you want to do with your life and where you want to go? Because it's obvious and it's clear. That the shit ain't working out. So it's time to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Now, now this brother Zach, man. You know me personally, man. Um, you know, I never really heard of this dude before his murder, man. You know, I ran across his videos, but never was really into what this individual was bringing forth to the table. You know what I'm saying? But I ran across a, you know, a few of his videos, man, and a couple of YouTubers. That was giving this guy shout outs And you know Some was basically Disrespecting him and all that But I mean at the end of the day From what I got You know He was a 28 to 30 year old man Who created This raw energy As far as Going around Chicago And his neighborhoods And he was giving Individuals a platform That was still involved And 10 toes deep Into that lifestyle And I mean honestly man You know if that was the direction that, that brother was headed man You know The advice That I have for individuals like that man You gotta know when to get in and get out You gotta know what to bring forth to the forefront And what not to bring forth to the forefront You know what I'm saying You can't be Giving individuals a platform And playing both sides And then at the same time Coming off with this Hey you know I'm a real nigga I'm in the streets man So I can basically do and go anywhere I go And I can interview individuals man Because you know that's what it is People respect the real Fortunately and unfortunately man It doesn't work that way you see what happened, you know what I'm saying? The end result is individuals murdered this dude. The end result, individuals murdered this dude, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay attention to the actions and the moves that you make when you're doing things like that. You know what I mean? Me, for example, man, this is one of the reasons why I go by No Face the Rambler, man. Because I understand. That I'm not active Out there in the streets like that Like I used to be And if I was active out there in the streets like that There's certain individuals I wouldn't be given a platform And there's certain situations I wouldn't be putting myself into Because I know the repercussions of what could happen I value my life You understand? So I'm not going to sit up here And play games With individuals that don't value my life, let alone theirs. You can't play both sides of the fence, man. And you creating this energy, and particularly with this brother, Zach, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? You creating this energy that you're the realest YouTuber out here. You're running around here from sources that I'm coming across that you interviewing ops, and you letting their rivals know where their locations is at. You out here, you know, knocking off dudes, baby mothers and shit, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, me, hey, that's what you were doing, that's what you were doing, you know what I mean? Can't nobody knock that. But you still made yourself accessible. You made yourself accessible to all kinds of bullshit. To all kinds of bullshit. You brought a lot of negative energy 
your way. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and it's fucked up because of course of your life. But at the same time, man. At the same time. It was all brought on by yourself. You know what I mean? You brought a lot of that shit towards your way, man. I mean, like I said, you know, I'm not from Chicago, man. I don't live there. No, I'm from NY, man. I'm from Long Island. I guess I have a platform, man. But I know individuals, like I said to this day, that did some real, real creepy shit in the past and in the present and still roam the streets like it's nothing. Still roam the streets like it's nothing. I know what they're about. But I will never speak on it. Online. I'll never bring it out to the world. And I will never instigate what they did and what they're doing now on a national platform. Because that opens up all types of all types of bullshit you bring all that energy to you man and like I said man you know at the age of 24 man if you consciously didn't wake up and when I'm saying conscious man I'm not talking about you know some form of a, a, a righteous knowledge or some righteousness or some religious aspect you know I'm talking man if your mind didn't shift If your mind didn't shift to the definition of a man and made you look and wonder what the fuck you gonna do with your life and after the age of 24 all the way up to your 30s damn near 40s you still running around here in the streets like you're 16 and 17 something's wrong with you and let this be a prime example man let this be a prime example, you know what I'm saying? And I'm rambling right now, man. I'm rambling, you know what I'm saying? Because the shit is sad and it's fucked up. And in this culture, especially in this culture, man, with this generation, you know, individuals got a complex or some narrative that they like to paint a picture of called, called keeping it real. And that's a, that's a bullshit logic and it's a bullshit narrative to live by. What and who are you keeping it real for? You know what I'm saying? What and who are you trying to keep it real for? I mean, let's keep it honest, man. All the real dudes that I know are six feet under. Are they doing centuries and decades in the penitentiary? So at what cost are you keeping it real? When are you going to realize that what you were doing 16 to 17 can't last forever, man? Can't last forever. And like I said, man, you know, I'm just getting sources, man, from what I'm reading about this brother, Zach, man. May he rest in peace again, and I can't stress that enough. But you know, he was running around exposing individuals. And this is another situation we got going on with our culture via social media, via various outlets that gives you an international, national platform. A culture of I'm going to expose this dude. I'm going to expose this chick. But what you fail to realize. That the person that you expose. Could be on some other shit that you're not really prepared for. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm going to break it down for you in layman terms, man. We're going to take Alpo. We're going to take Alpo out of Harlem, man. 
It's a reason individuals calling this dude a snitch while he was locked up. It's a reason that individuals are calling this snitch, calling this dude a snitch now that he's home and he's old and gray. Because they know this is the same Alpo. This isn't the same Alpo from the early, mid, and late 80s and early 90s versus today. They know that. So that's why it's easy to, you know, point fingers, say I'm exposed, and da 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 da. However, at the same time, you have individuals out here that you so called think that you will expose. And just because this person did this or did that, whether that person snitched, whether that person did whatever little fuckery, that don't mean that that person won't reach out and attempt to off your ass. You know, unless this individual has a record in the history of just taking L's after L after L. You know what I'm saying? But you have to know what and who it is that you're dealing with and what and who it is that you're trying to expose. Do your homework. There ain't no love out here in the streets, man. There ain't no honor amongst thieves. There ain't no loyalty. The same person that you get cash with will be the same person that'll body your ass. And that's real, you know what I'm saying? And that's real. And with this uh, brother in NYC, the other YouTuber, Tyrone Fleming, man. You know, this brother was 40 years old. Now, I don't know the in particulars about what happened with him. I don't know if it was a robbery. A domestic situation. Or some street beef that got out of hand. But at the end of the day, it happened. You know what I'm saying? It happened. And this is why I say to my audience, man, and to my youngins, man, yo, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be, man, if you're blessed to see the age of 25 and up? If you're blessed to see the age of 50 and 60? We all gonna die. Me personally, man, I want to die to old age, a natural causes, man. Smoking a cigar, sipping some cognac, you know what I'm saying? You should think about that, man. And remember, man, a man chooses his death by the lifestyle he chooses to live. Rest in peace to Zach. Rest in peace to Tyrone. Stop the bullshit and wake the fuck up. Really. And for all you up and coming YouTubers, man, that want to follow Zach's footsteps, be wise about it, man. Stop making yourself accessible. Because when they catch up with you, the same fate that this brother got, you're going to get. And you know, I go through online, man. I see a lot of dudes threatening academics and all these other various copycat motherfuckers. But one thing you got to understand about academics, man. Number one, he's a culture vulture because he has no interest in attempting to stop that's going on in our communities and number two he doesn't make himself accessible to bullshit you see what I'm saying you know academics ain't gonna be some dude that you're gonna catch in your local mini mart 
Are you going to catch up there hanging on the block? Academics isn't going to be some dude that you're going to be driving down and you just happen to catch him coming out of a local corner store. You got to keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep that in mind, man. You got to keep that in mind. You know what I mean? And you read, I read, in particularly a lot of comments, man, for various YouTubers and shit, man. And this is an addition to the rambling, man. You know what? Individuals, man, are, are, you know, talking about certain rap beefs and, you know, they live in this city and that city and they talking about post your location up and, and yada, yada, yada. Like, man, what the fuck planet are you on, man? It's rambling, you know what I'm saying? For example, man, you know, I, I see a lot of dudes in Chicago, man, going at it with various dudes from outside of their city and outside of their state. In some cases, man, dudes may live, you know, two, three thousand miles away. And they back and forth arguing online talking about post your location. Or you you don't want to fuck with our city. Woo 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 woo. And I'm not talking about Chicago, I'm talking about a lot of these cities are just on it, man. You don't want to fuck, you know, dudes to pull up. Where the fuck you gonna pull up to? You gonna get on the highway? You gonna take a two, three day trip? To another dude's hood that you arguing with online and call yourself trying to pop him? And it's a lot of it's a lot of downfalls to that because the individual you arguing with might be some 12 year old white male. White boy, I mean. Talking shit to you on his mama's phone. Think about that. Social media, man. It's a gift and a curse at the same time. It's a gift and a curse at the same time, man. But you got to know. You got to know what you're getting into, man. And you got to know how to move accordingly, man. It's no face the Rambler. Rest in peace, Zach Stoner, man. Rest in peace, Tyrone Fleming, man. It's unfortunate about these brothers' death. And I'm out, yo. Peace.